Walk us through all the steps of setting up a hydroponic farm. Me a piece of land. Me not really a farmer and my intention is not necessarily to become a farmer. Mm. But everybody want to plant a little garden in their backyard. Mm. How easy would it be to start a little hydroponic size garden, backyard garden mm. at your yard? Uh, walk with me, I'm sure. We want everybody to grow them food. Not just for sell, but what we mean everybody, the whole campaign that you're pushing is grow your own food in Jamaica and the Caribbean. This can actually fit in your car. So this is the definition of eat, plant where you eat? Yeah man, this is the definition of grow your own food. Grow your own food. Yeah man. And me Professor One Man, we got Mr. Chambers Farm. You see the meat, and we now run down meat, you see the meat. And we now run down meat, a strictly vegetable with the DGA. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you are returning, blessed love. Today we are in the not so cool hills of Manchester. God, the sun kinda out today in its glory. But I saw a thing go with up on a farm, so you know so the farm needs some sun. And today we are here visiting Mr. Ricardo Chambers. Uh, Ricardo has started a hydroponic farm all handmade and today we come to check him and he'll give you some more insights on how he got started in hydroponic why he got started in a hydroponic and we are going to try and find out if hydroponic is the way forward as we don't know that jamaicans now farm as much as we once used to so follow me we are going to reason with him and we will get some information and we are going to share this information with you jamaica uncut Spur Tree, Manchester, a place called Swaby's Hope, right outside of Mandeville. Soon forward. Introduce yourself to the people I'm coming, please. Well, my name is Ricardo Chambers, the Olympian athlete for Jamaica and uh, agriculture entrepreneur and uh, nation developer. Where did the, the, the idea come from in the beginning to start a hydroponic farm? Me, me come from a community in Chilani and we just always try to encourage them to do different kind of farming methods. Uh, mostly it was the yam. I try to encourage them to do the yam without the yam stick and chalice it and just different kind of techniques and stuff but there was just resistance. So one time I go back overseas and I finish up college and, and I always have a love for agriculture from the one because I come from an agriculture community. And um, we just did it and um, may I say, you know what, I'll do this and show them so it can be done and spread back the knowledge and help Jamaica. But well, where did you get the knowledge from in the first place? For hydroponics? Yes. No, alright. When we get the knowledge from, we just start go online and research about farming. When we decide to move on um, do farming for um, help about Jamaica. Okay. So we start doing some research about farming and so we start look upon the challenge them that we have in a farming and then we start look upon the other countries them that have similar challenges like we or we have. And we look upon freedom solution and the word Japanic keep on popping up everywhere we go. When we look for me, I study the Israel, I study the Netherlands, I study um, in the US and other countries. And um, every country that I study, Japanics are popped up. So I said, this is the um, interesting. I'm work, I learn, I'm more like this. This is what Jamaica need. And then we just get up and then we just say, I'm going to do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we just Buy a tin pipe, sit it on the back of my yard of Florida and um, start growing. It work, my life will work, let it grow fast, and I grow let it some beers as a test. So I said, alright, then the concept now is proven. I just pick up, pack up my bag, call my bridge in Kingston and say, yo, I'm going to Jamaica, you know, can come do this you now. 
you have a look at one bedroom and thing, I sleep on the couch, I sleep on the bed, and all the little thing there, and just mess up, move around, move around, move around, and them there. So. Mm. Okay, so if you build the, the stations, mm. I realize you don't really have a fully covered greenhouse per se. How does that hamper the growth of the plant with so much direct sunlight on them? Uh, the, the, when we just build the farm, it was a shaded farm, it was covered in shade. But we had designed the farm before we found the location. We designed the farm before we found the location, but we find out uh, this location uh, is not so hot. It's uh, on top of the mountain, so it's relatively cool. So we actually need more sunlight. Mm -hmm. So we take off the shade, and now the lettuce them getting the right amount of sunlight that they needed, according to the area that we're in right now. Okay. Yeah, if it was probably growing in a hotter climate, like on, like probably like in a St. Catherine or them hot places there, then it probably like the shade that help you. Right. Yes. So, so we now have extreme sun at this location. So we can go back from the start, because we have to start from the start. Mm. Walk us through all the steps of setting up a hydroponic farm. And then after you answer that question, now we are going to move into the know-how of mixing the nutrients and anything there. So let's talk about the step-by-step the, the, the step of starting a hydroponic farm. All right. When I start my hydroponic farm, the first thing I try to do is gather some kind of experience and knowledge. Um, that was very limited in Jamaica. So YouTube videos was my best um, options. After that then, we just basically um, just start. We just buy the pipe, bore the pipe, probably half of the pipe then they bore wrong because they bore all kind of lean lean and all them kind of stuff there. And we just, um, we never had a metal frame at the time. We cut down some stick, um, tied them up in a different different um, um, design and thing. And then we just figure out the one that worked best for me and then we just build it officially. Who taught you to mix? I know say, say you watch a lot of YouTube videos, mm. but watching YouTube videos and physically doing something can be proven difficult when you actually are touchy. Mm. How much mistake do you have to make before you get the nutrients right enough where good for you and where you the plant? Well, as far as the, the, the nutrients, you know, um, Mr. Jervis show. Um, he's, a, he's a really good agriculturist um, in uh, the region and he was the one who helped me with the um, nutrition. Okay. Yeah. So, when you, are, when you say nutrition, explain what nutrition is for the people who have no clue what we are talking about. Well, nut all right. the thing is, you know, all living things are the same. Either plant, animal, human, they're all the same. So they all require the same thing. Just like how you that require your iron and your all those elements the same thing with the plants but it, it, we mix it and give it to the plants mm. instead so basically it does nutrients passing around you know you eat the plant you get nutrition from it and that's why your um, poop on them thing that is actually um, nutrients right Our animal poop is actually nutrients okay. because it's just basically passing back the nutrition to somewhere else so the same nutrients that you you yourself required those are the nutrients that you mix and give it to the plant but do you, I mean, you're Jamaica with it, and a lot of things hard to find, like seeds and nutrients, and, and where do you get supplies from to, to keep an ever-growing farm? All right, we, we mix our own nutrition, and we mm -hmm. actually manufacture it and supply it and sell it. Right. Yes, so we mix our own nutrition and sell it, we do our own seedlings, and we actually sell the seedlings as well. Okay. So every single thing that we do for ourselves, we sell it because our main main aim is to revolutionize agriculture and by doing so you can't do it by myself so what i do is empower as much other farmers as possible so especially i'm targeting youths and female right. so um every almost every single thing i do i package it in smaller package and i um, empower other people with it how long ago you start this this farm probably four years four years ago and do you sell your produce to, to the local community or? No, well, the local community, not, not necessarily, no, we more give them and sell them. Okay. Um, but um, we sell produce to anybody who want buy. So you're in this for the love more than the, the profit or you're in it no, overall long term? This, no, this is a 
National Development Initiative. So that's why well, it's a, it's a, I could have gone many direction. I could have gone many direction with this. Um, I have a vast amount of knowledge as related to this. I could have um, say lock out the rest of population from it, and I just go ahead and produce lettuce or produce crops, and then I just basically lock out everybody else. But I don't want to. I don't think that would develop with the nation. I'll probably get super rich myself, mm -hmm. but the nation does still be um, poor. A majority of the people and the farmer them will still struggle. So what we need to know is all of that knowledge and research and information that I have. I create product, services and program to help our farmers from that. So Jamaicans are very for the most part stubborn mm -hmm. and, and we don't like change. Mm -hmm. Do you find that the farmers are open to this suggestion or are welcoming to this new idea, this new way of farming? Yes and no, because um, um, one of the things about Jamaica, as far as some of the research we've done, is they don't like changes, as I say. But what they like is um, Jamaican man, you have to show them, you can't tell them. So by me having the farm here, so, and I and I open tours so anybody can come on tour and they come on and see it and touch it and feel it, their mind change and they have an open mind and now they want to do it. Yeah, so, so the whole thing is not just to tell you, to show you. It's here, you can come, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can see how we do it and everything. What, what kind of advice you have for the younger youth them when they come up? I know say a new life, new style, and they have different idea of what life is, what life should be. So a lot of youths now put their hand on the dirt, a lot of youths now do not farming. What kind of advice would I give to these, the generation where they come up, about farming or hydroponic farming? Well, as it relate to, to farming and hydroponic farming, and it's, it's go exactly with what they use them actually want nowadays. Um, as you can see, my hot boy, I see him here. Yeah, you understand. I'm mean, doing my farming. Right. So, um, and the manager of this farm, at the, at the farm, is actually a young lady who recently graduated high school. Right. And she had girls seeing me. You understand. So, this is the kind of farming that suit this generation. Like literally, you have to do no weeding, no plowing, no digging, no mowing, none of them dirty stuff there. And then you can actually come on the farm clean. You don't get dirty. You're not planning on dirt. How it's, about funding? It's very challenging to get funding for any agriculture venture, especially farming in Jamaica. And the reason being, I believe, is because people see farming in a different perspective. Like, they, they think farming is high risk, and it does high risk based on how it is done in a traditional way. Right. It's less control of the environment, a higher the risk. I just want to give you way, way, way more control of the environment, so less, lesser risk. But the funding, Hard to come by. So you have to be more creative of how to um, gain funding. So some of the creative ways of gaining funding is basically team up with other people. If you have a look a bit and me have a look a bit and we have a look a bit, that's enough now. You understand? It's some of the way of, um, of, of, of go around funding is by um, collaborating. Say, say for example, yeah. we yeah. have so much business opportunity in agriculture. Yeah. but. You have the land. You know, I have no idea what to do the land, but you want to put the land to use. This man over there have some money. You know, saying want to invest it, but you don't know where you want to put it in. You know. And then me, I have all the knowledge about farming and the, um, everything else. So all I have to do is link up with the three people. You know, and then we don't need no funding no more. Nobody ever reach out to you on a, on a bigger scale to, to probably help them start a hydroponic farm, them have the money, they have the land, they have, but they don't have the know-how. Anybody ever reach out to you and say, me like what you do, come, come, start one for we from scratch. We're going we to fund it and you just have to build it for them. Yeah, my name is actually a um, partnership with, 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 with um, big companies um, and I'm going to build farm. My goal is to be the largest producer of fruits and vegetables. So we have a partnership with another company in the US, a uh, multinational corporation in the US, and um, we're gonna build 
something massive in Jamaica. So we don't, we don't tell nobody about that yet. When I say massive, I mean massive and the latest. Yes. Do you think hydroponic farming is the future? It is the future. There, there is, when you compare hydroponic farming to the traditional farming, there is, it's a no-brainer. The way I see hydroponic farming, for me, I believe everybody is heading towards this direction in every way in the world, in most places in the world, heading towards this relation as a related farming. And then I believe that it's, it's just going to boil on to who we'll get to the feeding tree first. Right, right. Because right. it's just so easy. Yeah. After you build a farm, really and truly, in the hydroponics, you just need the capital. Mm. So if me want me a piece of land, mm. I'm not really a farmer, and my intention is not necessarily to become a farmer, mm. but everybody want to plant a little garden in their backyard. Mm. How easy would it be to start a little hydroponic size garden, backyard garden, mm. at your yard? Uh, walk with me, I'm going to show you. All right. We want everybody to grow their food. Not just for sell, but what we mean everybody, the whole campaign that we're pushing is grow your own food in Jamaica and the Caribbean. So what it does is um, we have manufactured the hydroponic farms in all different sizes. That way from, from the small size where you could plant food on the patio all the way to a large commercial unit where you want enough money. And this is, this is some of the units then that we manufacture. And this is our ready to grow 50. And all of the units then comes with every single thing that you need except the seedlings. So it comes with the tank, the pump, the pH meter, the EC meter. We manufacture and sell the, sell the fertilizer as well. So it comes with the premix nutrition. When you run out of nutrition and you want more nutrition, you just contact us or go on our website, chambersagerfarm.com, and you get nutrition. Uh, you can go on chambersagerfarm.com and you could find a lot more information, a lot more different sizes and see some of the products that we're selling. And you can actually do purchase from our e-commerce site at chambersagerfarm.com so as well. How much one of these would I go for if somebody uh, this, wants this? Uh, this system right here so can grow 50 plants. And this goes for $39.99. And we do 39 up, grand? $39.99. Call it 40 grand. $39.99. Okay. And it comes with every single thing. The only thing you would need after this is just sealings to put in it. And we, and we do supply sealings of all different variety and then cheap. So the seedling and the nutrients would have to go buy from you? No, it comes with the nutrition, nutrient All for right. the first go. But if when you run out of nutrition, you just call us and you buy some more. So the seedling is the only thing that you have to buy. We do not we don't couple the seedlings in a packet because some people now got installed in farm right away. Yeah. And this are um is only about three feet by five feet. So this can hold on your veranda? On your veranda, patio anyway. Enough people who buy them actually upon them patio then put them. And upon the um, look of porch and the actually back. fitting in your car. So you can come, anybody can, all of taxi man can bring this. Yeah. And it's very, very easy to assemble. The way we manufacture it. Basically, you just stick it back together. So it's, oh, you know, glue it up? No, you, you can glue it up. You can tape it or you can um, tangent it. Tangent it. Yeah, either one. But just like this, it's so easy to um, just show you how easy it is to um, install it. So the only reason you that tangent it really is if just so you know drip if you have to put it in your no, house. No, no, but you also can check tape it and it don't drip. Ah. Tangent is permanent. Check tape yeah, is not. Yeah, so it yeah, depends yeah, on your purpose. Yeah. yeah. Like if you put this somewhere you know, you know, move it again, you can tangent it. If you know somewhere I put it down again, then you check tape it. It to the same purpose. And you need a pump? Yeah, it comes with a pump. Oh, it, it comes, comes with a, a pump? Yes, it comes with a very, like very... Like a quarter horsepower pump or something? No, man, it's a very, very small submersible pump. It's good, it's, the pump is what? Um, 24 watt. Mm. Yeah, that you could compare that to a light bulb, there's no much. All oh, right, cool. It's a very, very small. In the little pump, you put in a fish tank. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a small one. Can you remember you're not pumping water fast? Oh, you're not pumping fast. Mm -hmm. You're not, uh, not far neither. Okay, all yeah, right. So um, the pump, you know, very much electricity. Mm. And then you can you can plant your callaloo, your lettuce, your pop chow, and whatever else you eat. All in a different um, sequences. So this is the definition of Eat, plant where you eat. Yeah, man. This is the definition of grow your own food. Grow your own food. Yeah, man. And then this I want to know. You have a size up. This can grow 121 plants. And this 
is almost sixty-five thousand dollars. And we have a nationwide delivery for all our products. For the small one, for delivery is four thousand dollars, and this big one right here, so like all one hundred and twenty-one plants, is six thousand dollars for delivery. This, and, and you deliver it anywhere. Anywhere, uh, our, our partner deliver anywhere in Jamaica. And this one, uh, I don't want that most of the restaurants can get. Mm. Like restaurants and chefs like this size in farm because they grow their own food at the restaurants now. Mm. So this a farm you can grow two hundred and forty-two plants. 242. 242 plants and it and it um, 128 thousand dollars nice and all of the farms are very very easy to assemble and deassemble if you, if you look right here you could easily cut spin it off Hydroponic. and deassemble you can plant many different crops in the hydroponic these are called um, strawberries and these are just runners these are basically what gonna give another strawberry plant if okay. you can see sorry they start put out some local um, ah. um Roots. Yes, me understand. Yeah, man. So cut these so they off. like a banana, so then push out them one sucker. Ah, yeah, or ah, 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 pineapple and Yeah. So if you have an acre of strawberry, you can grow a whole of strawberry. You have 10, 20 acres in no time. And these are our um, ceilings. We have all different variety of um, ceilings. Alright, this example, perfect example. This is what the strawberry does. Do. This will be the, look at runner. You see that? And you stick it in there, so. And leave it there for about two weeks. And then root it. And that's a new brand strawberry crop. Okay. Yeah. These are cilantro. These are Swiss chard. Those are mixed lettuce. Them up here are so, um, we have sage over here, so we have dandelion that come up over the dandelion that, that thing. We have um, okra. We have spearmint. And we have um, spearmint, we have black mint, we have cabbage. We have sweet pepper, we have thyme, we have celery, we have rosemary, we have onion, we have hot pepper, we have basil. You just basically, what you're trying to do is get Jamaica to grow their own food. Mm -hmm. So we basically trying our best to make it easy as possible for Jamaica to grow their own, for us to grow our own food. How do you plant the seeds for then put them in the hydro? Alright then, we plant the seeds in this tree. We just basically drop one of the seeds in the tree. Yeah. And then when the tree, the seed um, germinate, mm -hmm. for lettuce now might take about two days to germinate. Mm -hmm. When it germinate, we just basically carry the tree. Carry come and leave it on there. So. And then about 14 days later, the lettuce them you turn a sucker like this. Mm -hmm. And what you do now, we just basically take out and sucker. Take out and sucker. And plant it. It's very, this is how easy it is to plant. Mm -hmm. I just plant it like this. I find that's plant. Just like that. Just that. Like so I, just, I just leave it. Just leave it. I'll be alright. Just when I do it again. I remember, you know, what, what, what I do, man, especially in time when I fall out in time, you know, I'm going to come weed it one more time. I'm going to mold it. I'm going to go um, all different kind of stuff. Me just put it in the frame. And come back on opposite. So the water with the mix nutrient mm -hmm. just keep running past it. Yeah man, so the way it works is um, we pump the, the water up to the drum up here. So. And what it does, the drum connected to all these pipes mm -hmm. and the water comes down. And if you look in the pipe, this is just a little tip of water um, coming down here. So you can see it? Just a little tip. And that's what touching the roots of the um, plant. And this will be the set. As long as the water touching the roots of the plant, that's it. So the fertilizer is actually inside of the water. Right. So every time the plants get water, they're getting fertilizer. And that's why the plants grow so big and so fast. It's because it's not in the ground where it's competing with the weeds for resources. Mm -hmm. It's off the um, ground, so it's not um, um, affected by the cyborg diseases. Is um, getting water and nutrition constantly. So imagine if you are a baby or a big man, you just sit in our house with beer food and nothing for them. It's a fat. Get fat, and that's mm -hmm. what the plant them does. Yeah. You understand? They have the right temperature. They have as much water as they want. Them determine how much water them eat. I mean, water them drink and how much nutrition them uptake. But is your is the is the water nutrient water in that upon a timer? Mm -mm. You just keep running. It's keep, it's keep running. What it does is um, we have a flow switch in the gym. And the way it works is um, 
whenever the drum get empty, it automatically activate the pump to fill up the drum. Ah. And when the, whenever the, the drum get full up, it floats it automatically and um, lock off the pump. Right. So the whole part is automation. And I forgot about this one again. But the water, when you run out the other end of mm. each hydro, you, you reuse it, you capture it back? Yeah, man, you capture it back, man. I'm going to show you the part than this. Okay, all right. Cool, cool. So and the main is, source of water is rainwater or your, or your pipe water? Both. We use the um, our main source is rainwater. But if needed, we use the pipe water. The drum connected to um, all this, this was, and this was connected to all of the frames. Um, and this is actually the water. That's feeding the plant. Look a bit of water and the fertilizer is actually in the water. And mm. that's what's feeding the plant. As long as the root of the plant touching the water, the plant will grow. And if you look, this is the root of the plant. And this is actually one of the benefits of um, hydroponics as well, is that you can easily di diagnose the roots. Right. When the roots are white, mm -hmm. they are healthy. Okay. The plants are healthy. If the roots are dark, the plant is basically um, something are gone. So but how you how often you have to check the root to see them are them are going good? You know, so I mean, I actually check it often because um, after a certain while, we just kind of just know something things, mm -hmm. the signs them have to look for. Like so on know, the leaf and that yeah, kind of thing there. I'm just basically keep once once you keep your nutrition right in mm -hmm. the hydroponics, you're basically good. Okay. And your nutrition is, is is a challenge, but once your nutrition is right, right, it's not a difficult thing for um, to um, to grow. So okay. hydroponics are whole for benefit, man. Um, some of the benefits is um, we don't have much labor costs. The labor is cheap. Right. It's actually one young lady manage the whole entire farm. The, lady, the, the labor is cheap because no weeding, no plowing, no digging, no, uh, none of those um, no kind of things. And then um, when I'm doing my labor, as you can see, it's so easy to harvest. If I harvest this right now, I come with my knife, cut it off, mm. cut it off, cut it off, and put it in a packaging container. But well, what do you do with the root? You just throw they, it out? You just throw the root and plant back. And that's, okay. a, and that's one of the benefits as well. We can harvest today and plant back today. So you just have you can harvest and plant at the same time. Same time. Most time, most of the time, what the crew does is they, they harvest, then they plant back same time if they have the time. Right. And you actually can have two crew, one to harvest and one to plant. Same and time. when you have plant and a harvest, how much people you have? Actually, how many people do you have in total along with yourself who work this farm? Yeah? You know, so I'm not to work on the farm. Oh, for real? I'm not actually on the diagonal, you know, mm. yeah, because. What we do now is venture into the um, building the infrastructure mm. of agriculture in Jamaica. Okay. So um, we venture into building everything related to agriculture, basically. Okay. If you name agriculture, we can do it. All right. Yeah, man. Cool. So basically, up on the road, I try figure things out, or manage project, and we are build farms and all them things there. So basically, I don't on the farm that much here, so. We mix our nutrition and them two drum there. We separate them A and B, and then we, we put the nutrition in the water. This is the main tank that supplies the whole entire farm. Mm -hmm. We have a pump inside of here, so. So they pump, pump the water to the black drum. The black drum is all the way up on the rooftop. Mm -hmm. And then this, it come back down. So the, the, the nutrition and the water connected to all of the pipes, it comes down and all of the pipes connected to, down it, to each other down there, so. And whatever the water they drink, it's actually come back right here, sir, and recycle back. And this is just an old concrete tank from the yeah, old man. Yeah, that was an old tank that was used for this. Mm -hmm. So the water and the fertilizer, you actually get it back and recycle back. Is there any fruit, plant or vegetable that cannot be grown in a hydroponic system? Well, a Japanese can grow, you can grow anything hydroponically, basically. Yam. Anything, anything. Potato. Anything you can grow hydroponically. Hydroponically. Yeah, you have different. Right, what you're looking at now is hydroponic. But this is NFT, nutrient film techniques, and it's vertical. And this design works best for um, leafy vegetables. But it doesn't work best for um, other crops. Like you grow onions in it, but it's not the best way to grow onions. I mean, Professor One Man. We got Mr. Chambers farm. You see the meat, and we now run down meat. You see the meat, and we now run down meat. A strictly vegetable where the DGA eat. You see the cow, and we now want that the meat. You see the goat, 
I mean, no one that they mean. I should clip up Chowa with the DJ eat. Me say carrot and lettuce with the DJ eat. You turn you down from off of the street. From your plant, you say you know you are free reap. And when you reap, you say you know you are going sweet. Say so what you go for me, I must skin up him teeth. And I tell Bob Ziggy and say, Mr. style sound sweet, you say the meat. Does it relate to um, development? We can't just leave the development of the country to the government only. Because the government is there to facilitate, de facilitate development. So we entrepreneurs, we should be helping the government to develop the country. So, uh, me want to say this to, um, me want to talk to um, Jamaicans. Or people who like Jamaica, people who have an interest in Jamaica, I want to talk to you right now. Um, there is no secret. Jamaica is, is having these challenges. We must look into ourselves and say, okay then, what can we do to help Jamaica? And how can we help Jamaica? Wherever you're there, overseas, local, wherever in the world, how can you help Jamaica to win? Ask yourself that from where you are. How me can help? my country the country me love or the country me have a like for to win and let's make jamaica <laughs>
community, develop communities, grow and educate farmers about a different way of farming as opposed to the traditional style of farming. A quicker way, a faster way, a more productive way of farming where we don't have to dig up in the earth, or destroy the earth, or chop down tree and all of them kind of something there. I would love to see the Jamaican government or a body within the Jamaican government, the farming committee of the Jamaican government, find this man and give this man a strength. He now look for hand out and he now try to bash the government, but we would love to see him get the necessary help, the necessary funding, the necessary tools, the necessary material. We know the material hard to get to Jamaica. We know the seed and supplies hard to get to Jamaica. Reach out to the man. And if you're out there watching this video and you want to help, we're going to put him number down the bottom. We're going to put him email address down the bottom. And you can help in whichever way. Whether you come into Jamaica and you want to bring some seeds, whether you want to call him and find out what are some of the things that he may need that you can bring to Jamaica on your next trip. Let's do all we can to help Jamaica grow. Jamaica Uncut, Hydroponic Farming.